Hey everyone, this is Gauran Garaje and in this video we'll be taking a look at an application of the triple five timer. So the application that I've chosen is basically a DC motor actuator which is um, used to deliver a full power to the DC motor when it started up. To get a better understanding we'll directly take a look at the output So, as we can see in this output, this is basically a PWM signal which has an automatically changing on time. By changing the on time from a very small value to a very large value, almost constant, at the start of a DC motor, we are ensuring that full power is not delivered to it very suddenly. So, we are linearly increasing the power delivered to the DC motor by controlling the on time and the off time of the PWM signal. So let's see the circuit which generates this PWM signal. So this is the circuit right here where on the V open or the output pin we get the PWM output. Here it uses an NE555 timer and a comparator which is connected to the reset pin. This concept is basically known as a sinusoidal PWM. This we can understand by checking the output of the comparator itself. So checking the output or the signal at the inputs of the comparator, we have this. So the triangular wave is basically the input at the inverting terminal of the comparator and the ramp signal which is straight line to the end of this time period is the input at the non-inverting terminal of the comparator. What this means is basically whenever the ramp signal has a larger value than the triangular wave, the comparator output will be high otherwise it will be low and from this waveform we can see that as the time period goes on the time for which the ramp signal value is higher than the value of the triangular wave keeps on increasing so at the start we have a very small time period where the ramp signal has higher magnitude than the triangular wave then here we have a slightly larger time period and as it goes on we almost get the full triangular wave under the ramp signal that is the output of the comparator will be high for the whole time period. We can verify that logic by checking the output of the comparator. As we can see here at first the output of the comparator is low and as time goes on the time for which the output is high keeps on increasing. Now that same signal is applied to the reset pin of the triple five timer. So this means that the time for which the triple five timer will produce an output keeps increasing as the time period goes on. Hence we can use this comparator circuit to decide the PWM signal output of the triple five timer. So rather than having resistors and a capacitor combination at the discharge threshold and trigger pins, we are using a comparator at the reset pin. And hence we get the desired output which we can see here again. So here again, just to conclude, we can see that the power keeps on increasing as the time for which the voltage high level increases.